Hey y'all, Tanny Cooks here, and today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious and flavorful meal prep lunch idea using just a few basic ingredients. We're going to use some hamburger and some cabbage and a couple of delicious seasonings. You don't want to miss this recipe, so let's get to cooking. I love when a recipe is so simple. We have a couple of basic ingredients, one and a quarter pounds of 93% lean ground beef and a beautiful head of green cabbage so the first thing that i'm going to do is wash my cabbage so i'm using cool water of course and i am using baking soda to clean this vegetable this time i usually use white vinegar but if you buy a vegetable or fruit wash leave me a comment down below and let me know what you use and what the main ingredient is here i'm just letting my water and my baking soda do its job and I'm just rotating my cabbage around to clean off any bits that need to be cleaned. Now I am rinsing it off in my colander under cool water, getting under the leaves as well. And so I have a pan on my stove on medium heat going so that I can cook my one and a quarter pound of ground beef. Now, one and a quarter pound, that's about 20 ounces that I had. So that should be five servings of four ounces of meat. To me, this does not look like five servings. I'm sorry, but that's why I'm doing this. I need to get to a point where I am eating an appropriate portion of food when I do eat. And at lunchtime, it's really easy for me to go out and just buy something um, from a fast food or takeout restaurant, and I don't want to do that. So I'm cutting up this cabbage because I'm going to cook and season this cabbage and meat together in a way that's going to keep me satiated at lunchtime during the week, but it's also going to keep me from spending money at takeout restaurants that probably have ingredients in their food that I don't want anyway. So I'm just continuing to cut up my cabbage. I do peel the leaves around the thick white core part. I don't cook that. Oftentimes these restaurants put more sodium, sugar, and fat in their food to make it highly palatable to make you want to come back and get it. So I just need to step away from that and eat more home cooked food. My cabbage is all cut up to the size that I like. And now these are my seasonings. I am using Sunlook brand Chinese Five Spice. It does not contain sodium. It contains star anise, fennel, cloves. It, this is the best brand for Chinese Five Spice. I'm using black pepper and I'm using sea salt. Of course, my sea salt contains sodium. If you're counting carbs, you need to look at the nutrition facts for your seasonings. Now this onion powder contains less than one gram of carbohydrate, but if you use enough garlic powder, onion powder, then those grams will add up. So be sure to keep that in mind if you are eating low carb. Now I am adding my seasonings to my meat. My meat is partially cooked, as you can see. I'm being liberal with my onion powder, garlic powder. I add a little black pepper, a little salt. I'm also adding avocado oil because this ground beef was very lean. And so I'm going to need a little bit of oil in the pan to help cook my cabbage. And I also want to put that oil in there to help my Chinese five spice seasoning not burn on the pan. So I'm adding my cabbage in batches and I'm adding a little bit of water, maybe a few tablespoons just to help my cabbage cook and my meat is going to continue to cook along with it. I am able to get more cabbage in the pan and you can see I do have a lot of cabbage left over but all of that is going to be in as a cabbage cook it's going to release its natural water and shrink down so I will be able to get it all in the pan eventually. Now Chinese Five Spice is so delicious. I definitely recommend you try this if you haven't tried it before. It kind of will give you a hint of a really tasty egg roll if you've had seasoned egg rolls before. So as I add more cabbage, I'm just adding a, more water in the form of a tablespoon or two at a time. So it's very simple to let it simmer on medium heat for a few minutes to soften up. And when that happens, I mix my meat and my cabbage. It smells so delicious in the kitchen right now. You definitely are going to love this recipe if you like Chinese flavors. Now, look at how beautiful that looks. In addition to my Chinese Five Spice, I am using some no soy tamari. So tamari is like a soy sauce. It's a little bit thicker in my opinion, but if you're allergic to it, then you can't eat it. And this is a great substitute. So all of my meat and cabbage has cooked and I have it all together in one big bowl. This would be delicious for a dinner presentation or a light lunch for a couple of people. But I am breaking this down into five different servings so that I can take this to work to be my lunch during the week. And look at that, y'all. I meal prep my lunch for the week. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel.